The PSA Freedom AR-15, let's check it out. Now, being from South Carolina, I've always been a big fan of Palmetto State Armory, uh, mainly because they have a retail outlet or a store right here in our town in Greenville, South Carolina. And so I have spent a lot of money at Palmetto State Armory. Because the price of the AR-15 that Palmetto State offers is so inexpensive, I've always really wondered about the quality. I mean, to the point where I thought maybe these were being imported and they were keeping it on the down low and for whatever reason. But Palmetto State got in touch with me just a few months ago. And so for the first time ever, we've started actually working together on different projects. If I need a rifle, they'll send it to me. And uh, we've done some things with Magpul. Uh, but here's the thing, guys. I was talking to Josiah McCullum and that's the owner of PSA, Jamin McCullum, is his brother. And he was telling me about a lot of the things that go in, into the AR-15 that they make. Uh, all the parts are made right here in the USA. In fact, they're made right here in South Carolina. A few parts are made in North Carolina. And that goes all the way down to the bolt and bolt carrier group and the barrels. Now, one of the big things about Palmetto State Armory is that they produce the products and then they sell them direct. And so because of that, they kind of cut out the middleman and they have a huge web presence. I mean, they do a lot of internet sales and they have retail outlets here in, in South Carolina. So I told Josiah I wanted to get a hold of one of their cheapest AR-15s that they make and I wanted to test it out. And so they sent me this uh, Freedom AR-15, it's from their Freedom series. This rifle without the Magpul Mbus sight is under $350, under $350. Now this is actually a upper that you buy separately and then you buy the lower separately. They are complete, everything's ready to go. It does not come with a magazine, it does not come with a rear sight. So that's the only thing you have to add to this rifle to be able to take it directly out to the range and of course ammo. And guys, at this time, the lower is 129, the upper is 219 and those prices can fluctuate, but Palmetto State is always running really good deals. And as far as assembly goes, just pop your pins, drop in your upper, and that's it guys, you're ready to go. The action is tight. I mean, it's solid. Both are locked up very well. All the parts are mil spec, so they interchange with any of your other ARs. But what we want to look at is, is it a budget AR as far as quality? I mean, is this a good quality AR or is it a cheap knockoff that can, you know, fun to take to the range? Is this something that you can depend on for your go-to rifle? And that's the big deal. Let's go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded. We don't have a magazine in it and the chamber is empty. Now, as far as the furniture goes, I mean, it is standard mil spec M4 furniture. I mean, your collapsible stock, you know, it's, it is in the FDE. I believe you can get it in the OD and of course the black as well. Standard pistol grip and your clamshells. Uh, this is a a carbine length gas system. The handguard does have heat shields inside, so that does help once this rifle gets hot. And you have sling mounts at the front and on the stock. Now first we have the upper and lower receiver. Uh, they are forged. Uh, they are 70-75 T6 aluminum, which is up to mil spec. Uh, there's a number of companies over the years that have made their upper and lower receivers 60-61 T6, which is inferior. Uh, and so the 70-75 T6 is what I look for 
for an AR-15. Another thing that they have is their uh, forward assist and their dust cover. You know, a lot of the budget ARs, they'll just do away with these just to kind of lower the price down, you know, 30, 40 bucks. But you're getting all the features, you know, that you get on your standard AR. This is the A3 upper receiver, which means that it has the Picatinny rail and it is T-marked, as you can see with a white outline. Just has one of the mil spec charging handles. It also has your brass deflector, has your standard magazine release. And we have our bolt stop. And of course we have our selector switch. These are all standard. One thing though I do like is the takedown pin and the pivot pin have divots in it. it makes it a little easier to push through uh, to open up your rifle. It has your Palmetto State Armory logo etched into the receiver. And this is the PA-15 multi-caliber. We have a mil spec buffer tube or receiver extension tube. And the castle nut is properly staked, which is a premium feature on a lot of rifles. In fact, they've kind of stopped doing that because people are changing things out so much. But you can still pop this off. But this just shows a little attention to detail. And we have our standard back plate. It does come with your standard sight tower with the adjustable post. You do have a bayonet lug and we have a sling swivel. But the sight tower has been f marked, so this is up to mil spec. The handguard can be switched out. You can remove the sight tower, put on a low profile gas block uh, and you can put on a you know handguard on here whatever you want to if you want to remove this front side tower the one thing i love though about this is it keeps the price really low you can get this and start shooting immediately and then upgrade when you want to and one thing about this side tower when you put your scope on your optics or obviously your flip up backup sight it co-witnesses with the sight and so you can see the sight with a 1x scope but once you get magnification it just ghosts this out and you don't really see it this is not going to be in the way now there are two areas that are critically important for your rifle uh, number one is your barrel and also your bolt and bolt carrier group this is a 16 inch barrel it's a one in seven twist uh, it's 5.56 in caliber and it's 4150 chrome molly steel it does have a nitride finish on the barrel, which to me is superior. And it does have the M4 barrel extensions, and we'll look at that. Here I want to give you just an inside look at the barrel. And you can see the barrel profile. It is the M4 style, but uh, just gives you more of a look. It is that nitride finish on it as well. It does come with your A2 birdcage flash hider, but you can switch that out for compensators or whatever you want to. Now guys, as far as trigger action, we have a little bit of take up just right there. And then a nice break. Reset, right there. I mean, that's not bad. We're gonna check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Four pounds, 13.7 ounces. Five pounds, 5.3 ounces. Four pounds, 14.6 ounces. So actually under the five pound range. Now let's take a look inside the rifle. Now your fire control group is your standard mil spec trigger. Uh, so it's not going to be anything super exceptional, but uh, it's good and serviceable. I mean, it's just the right. I mean, obviously for the U.S. military, this is what they've been using. So it's a great combat trigger. Uh, this has not been notched, so you will be able to use a 9mm conversion uh, with your lower if you want to go with 9mm. And that's by design from PSA. Now here we have the notched hammer and the unnotched hammer. Uh, the, the notched hammer is actually for a safety feature that was designed by Colt. But the unnotched hammer is actually best for full auto, and honestly, it's just a very substantial hammer. And again, this will allow you to shoot 9mm without any problems. And we're going to pull out the bolt carrier group to check it out. Here we have the M4 feed ramps cut into the upper receiver and into the barrel extension. Now one of the first things I look for with a bolt carrier group is that it is M16, and this is. The AR-15 has a more of a cut that comes back. It makes it a really small little shelf here. And so this is what the rifle is designed for. It's perfectly legal to use the M16 bolt carrier group. Now the bolt is 158 carpenter steel. It has been MPI and HPT tested. Uh, magnetic particle inspected, high pressure tested. Uh, each bolt, not by batch. And also these have been shot peened, which actually harden the surface of the metal. They're bombarded with small particles to really harden that surface. So it's all up to spec and it's good quality. Uh, the gas key has been hardened, and you do have your grade 8 fasteners, and these have been properly staked. We're going to go ahead and pull out our bolt and take a little closer look. Now, I haven't cleaned this since we've shot it, and we shot it pretty extensively. 
We're gonna get our cam pin out, and we're gonna pull the bolt out. You can see <laughs> we've really put some rounds through this rifle. And of course, the 158 Carpenter steel is up to mil spec, and really what you should look for. But this has a phosphate finish, again, up to mil spec. So everything is at least made to mil spec or above. Buying inferior quality is just not an option, guys. Uh, we live in a dangerous world. You know, this is something that you could use as a go-to rifle, as a home defense rifle, and you really need to know, is this worth it? All right, I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo uh, and good quality ammo all made right here in the USA. We couldn't do near as much shooting <laughs> without Fioki's help. Guys, we took the rifle down to the range, and you know, being a very inexpensive rifle, bare basic entry level, uh, with your M4 collapsible stock, your carbine handguard that are clamshell, does have the heat shield, and then you have your standard grip. Um, you know, just bare bones, front sight tower, A2 birdcage. I was really curious at how it would feed, how it would function, if we would have any problems. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, if it's low budget, they're just having guys just slap these things together. We had no malfunctions. I mean, we shot 500 rounds through it, which is not excessive, but still. I mean, without cleaning it, we just shot rapidly. We shot from the bench. Uh, we shot quite a bit. And so we wanted to see, just kind of run it through the gamut to see if it was really up to par. Of course, we did add the MBUS sight to it, and we did add the Primary Arms uh, 1X Cyclops Prism Scope, this ACSS. That is an excellent scope. And then for accuracy, we threw on the ACSS 1-6 to by Primary Arms, just because we wanted to give it a fair shake with accuracy. So guys, overall, range day was excellent. Now, we're gonna be doing some further testing with this rifle because I wanna put, you know, thousands of rounds through it, see really how it functions overall. But as far as I can tell from all the quality features and the workmanship that went into this rifle, I don't foresee having any problems whatsoever. Every one of those bullets went through that dummy. Now, buying two halves of the rifle, uh, it's fully functional, but you do need a rear sight and you will need a magazine. Other than that, it has everything included. So the rifle is ready to go, um, you know, with the two parts. Then, of course, if you want to add a sight, I highly recommend the Primary Arms ACSS Cyclops. It's a 1X prism scope. They also make this now in a 3X. These are like $239. Uh, they have a focus ring on the back. If you have any kind of stigmatism with your eye, this is excellent. And of course, there's a lot of other red dot options out there. Of course, you want to pick up a couple of cases of ammunition because you'll go through them fast. <laughs> I went to the Palmetto State Armory website and I wanted to see what customers were saying as far as feedback. And overwhelmingly, this rifle was getting five stars. And I see why, because we had a great time at the range. Again, we shot over 500 rounds, no malfunctions whatsoever with the rifle. And usually, even with magazines, we were trying different type magazines and still having no problems. But guys, if any kind of assault weapons legislation comes up, rifles like this will be impossible to find. And then, if you find one, they're going to be very expensive. It'll double in price. But one thing, too, is the Palmetto State offers a forever warranty. If you buy this rifle, it is going to be backed by Palmetto State Armory. And guys, if you're interested, I will have links on my Facebook page to each of these parts that you can go just directly to it because sometimes there's so many different options on Palmetto State, it can be fairly difficult to find. And so we'll have those links again right on Facebook. And if you're watching this on Get Zone or on Full 30, we'll have them down in the description. Pros and cons of the rifle. Uh, the big pro is the price. It's just super reasonable, $350. I mean, I, I can't quit saying it because I can't believe it. Um, I've paid a lot more money for AR-15s. Now, this is the bare basic. I mean, you got just your bare basic furniture on here. 
and if you want to upgrade you know it's going to cost you but it does get you into an AR-15 rifle very reasonably and all the changes can be done to this rifle and again don't just take my word for it check out other reviews there's a lot out there on Palmetto State Armory these are very popular rifles and see what they're saying about the quality and the features and the reliability of these rifles. Now the CEO of Palmetto State Armory is Jamin McCullum and he is a vet from, in fact he served in Iraq with the South Carolina National Guard. In fact he was even um, injured and had some brain damage. I mean he really went through a lot when he was in Iraq. When he came home he started Palmetto State Armory. One of the things that he said was is I don't care about making money. He goes I just want to get as many AR-15s out of the market so that no matter what laws they pass, there'll be a lot of rifles out there to protect our freedom. That to me is awesome. And again, I wanna thank the guys over at Palmetto State Armory for sending the Freedom AR-15 for this review. Uh, guys, I'll tell you, if you're looking for a solid AR-15 at a budget price, you're not gonna beat the Freedom AR-15 from PSA. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Once we broke the rifle down, it was proving itself to, okay, I, I, I'm talking about, I'm gonna talk about it later. Man, I got these fancy shades, man. <laughs> Two native sons from South Carolina, Such and PSA. And I'll smoke to that.